Okay, hi, Jay. Hi, was here. Wow, thank you. Tunisia. Sorry. There's Dr. N. Yes, I'm in. I'm really sorry. Marisol's from Ecuador. I am so sorry. Hi, Amina from Egypt. Good friends here. Okay, I'm glad you got started, though. Go ahead. <laughs> just, just saying hello to everybody. Thanks so much for coming. Dr. Nelly, are you, do you want me to, to talk for a bit? Are you getting, uh, no, I know fine. you're jumping around from class to class. <laughs> no, we had problems, problems, problems. I love problems. You know why, Jace? Because problems make me feel like I'm a human uh, being. They follow you around. And I'm not an, I'm not a machine. <laughs> Uh, Jace, do you have a headset by any chance? No, no, no. I don't, but I'm on a, I'm on a Mac and I never use one for these. All right, so you're kind of loud. Let me try to see if I can lower the volume. Can you lower the volume on your WizIQ settings there? Because it's really I loud. I absolutely that might help. You look, great. you look like Fester today. Did you? What did you do there? Oh, I, 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 I took a shower. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, all right, everybody. So uh, <laughs> let me just uh, introduce oh. our speaker that you've heard a little bit uh, so far. People are trying to get into the class, Jay. So uh, the door is kind of, uh, you know, very, very narrow and they have to go through it like a pipe, you know, through the Internet. So they're coming in uh, just to um, give you a little bit about Jason. Jason, and I met, I think, about a year, maybe two years ago. Time flies. And um, it's just amazing to be able to meet someone that you've connected with online. And this is exactly what Connecting uh, 114 is about. It's five years of connecting with people who are passionate about learning and sharing. And that's what it's all about. So I'm going to uh, let Jason begin here by getting his PowerPoint up. And I'm going to leave. All right. So go ahead, Jason. Okay. Thank you. But feel free to pop back in anytime, Dr. Ed. I um, for a dance Sir Tom, or two. That, is, is that Gaelic? What is that? Your your pate, Pat? Uh, is that must be a reference to my, my uh, ball head up here. Um, <laughs> yeah, Nelly, get some rest, but feel free feel, feel free to jump on in I will. anytime. Uh, those of you who know me probably know that I work a lot with Dr. Nelly. I was just thinking uh, a lot about her today because uh, soon I'd like to relaunch the English workout. I don't know if you guys know. Oh, that's bald spot. Interesting. I don't know if you guys know about the uh, weekly English workout uh, with Fluency MC, co-produced by Dr. D, as in Dr. Deutsch. But that's uh, a program on WizIQ for improving your English speaking skills workout style. So that's going to come back. So look for that. Uh, in the near future. Thanks so much for coming, everyone. Very cool to see 20 people already here. And um, the title of tonight's uh, presentation is ELT Techniques, the Festival Redu or Redux, uh, whichever pronunciation uh, you like. I guess we say Redux, uh, meaning the second time. This is the second time we did a, a massive open online course for, excuse me, English language teachers. And I'm here to, by the way, Jason Olivine is Dr. Nelly. She likes to sneak in there with that, and people start to wonder, wait, is that, how can he teach and type at the same time? Or they think, what the heck is Jace talking about? Because it sounds a lot like Dr. Nelly. Uh, but anyway, yes, uh, we share, we use that for our, our program. So Jason Olivine is not me, just, just my disclaimer here. Um, we had a really great time doing this MOOC again. Um, the ELT Techniques move. We had a lot of wonderful presenters and we had some incredible facilitators and a huge number of participants. And I'd like to just take this time uh, to recap a little bit, talk about it, but especially to leave time for questions uh, because that's something I'm not always good at because I blab, blab, blab too much. So I'd like to stop, uh, give you guys enough time to ask questions. Uh, because I know a lot of people are curious about MOOCs and also may have comments or suggestions to make about MOOCs or would like to get into a discussion uh, about how they work, uh, where they're going in the future. So this is about English language teaching. Um, however, what we did as a community in this MOOC, of course, could be 
uh, applied the, the good things about it. There are a lot of great things about it. It could be applied to, to other types of massive classes, uh, no matter what the type of class. But I like to distinguish MOOCs, uh, X MOOCs and C MOOCs, as in the connectivist MOOCs, the C MOOCs. Uh, and I have a little line that I, uh, some of you know, I, I make rhymes, uh, rap music to teach. And uh, one of the things I like to say, it's in the Moodle MOOC song, if you're at the Moodle MOOC. Um, the Moodle MOOC, uh, I'm sorry, look at the chat box. Thank you, Dr. Nelly. Uh, the, Moodle, the Moodle MOOC 3 uh, cer opening ceremony, one of the, from the, the song I wrote about the Moodle MOOCs, I say, for a massive class to have class and be a blast, it has to surpass this other class they call the X MOOCs. Right? Because the X MOOCs are the MOOCs that are not focused on connectivism, and on letting learners just get together, band together, seize the moments, seize opportunities, the synergy to, to learn. They're more like just taking the traditional types of university classes on the ground, the physical classes, and bringing them to, uh, to online, which really doesn't work. It's dull, it's boring, so that's why they're not working. So we definitely were a connectivist MOOC, ELT techniques. So uh, I'll get, get started here. I'll tell you, one of the things that's distracting me most is uh, to me, there's a celebrity here. Ana Cristina uh, Pratas uh, has the Cristina Skybox blog, and she's I'm just such a huge fan of her. So honored to have you here, Cristina. Moving along. This time, we had double the number of presenters for this MOOC. 24 presenters, one platform, uniting English teachers all over the world. Uh, this is our hashtag ELT MOOC. And uh, ELT stands for, who can tell us? What does ELT stand for? And the link to the MOOC is here. Uh, I put it on the last, it's one of those long, uh, unwieldy, uh, with IQ links. English language teaching, thank you, Haifa. Uh, yes, and it's also sometimes used to refer to... Um, <laughs> Christina, you are, I would say you are the man, but you are the woman. Uh, Sylvia is a bigger fan, maybe than even than I am. But anyways, um, yes, English language teaching sometimes also used to refer to the teachers themselves, English language teachers. And we have ELT techniques, meaning English language teaching techniques. If you're not interested in or affiliated in any way with English language teaching, I still think you'll find this presentation uh, useful, I hope, and interesting, I hope, because of the nature of the course that we, we built, uh, the community we built here in WizIQ. So if you're interested at all in online learning and in connectivist learning in particular, when big groups get together, and have wonderful experiences as learners, I think you'll, you'll enjoy this. We're doing this three times a year. This is the second time we've done it. Uh, we just finished, end of December, not just finished, but we're still, still, we just gave the certificates out. We're four weeks long. We are, yes, it is a certificate course, although right, right now, I have lots of ideas for the future, uh, different levels of uh, cert certification, but for now, it's just a certificate of completion. I'll talk about that more in a moment. Um, four weeks long, we had nearly 3,000 participants from over 100 countries. As uh, anyone uh, knows who's been following MOOCs, not all participants that joined uh, were active participants. And not everyone uh, finished in the sense that they got the certificate. However, uh, the numbers aren't in yet, but the number of people who were active, either joining classes, watching recordings, uh, doing assignments, active in the chats in our course feed and our class pages, really, really high numbers. And uh, also off of WizIQ and Facebook and other places, uh, getting together to collaborate and, and work together. Really great stuff. 22 presenters, 31 facilitators. We had lots of folks helping out uh, for the festival. Yes, Fabiola knows all about the festival. It's a really great festival. This word festival came uh, very early, actually, in the first MOOC, the first time we did it. So it really buoyed our, our spirits. Someone said, wow, this isn't a course. It's a festival. So we started calling it the festival. Uh, and we uh, chose this artwork. Actually, we didn't choose it. This was chosen by the great um, promotion and marketing uh, wing of WizIQ. They made this really cool 
poster where well, you saw the, the one before, it's, and then we, yes, and then this is a similar one with presenters, and they made this to WizIQ, and there's lots of stuff I'm going to show you tonight that WizIQ uh, created to promote and support this course. So a festival of meeting, connecting, and sharing to further our professional development. Lots of fun. I mean, uh, yes, don't worry. Lots of people didn't get the certificate. Uh, and in a, in a way, it doesn't really matter at this point. I think what we're really trying to do here, I know what we're really trying to do, is we're pioneers, and that includes all of those of you who have joined, in shaping these courses to make them better and better as we go along. Uh, we're, we're doing it three times a year. You can get a certificate the next time. Uh, we will be uh, making some really exciting uh, changes, features added to these MOOCs in the future to suit different people's needs, certification, time, so on. Um, I agree, Tom. I don't think they're as important as what you get out of it. I mean, if you're not able to get a certificate, but it's because of commitments to your learning or teaching, then you're still doing professional development. It's about, you know, it's a smorgasbord, it's a, bu it's a buffet, you know, all these different things. We can't do everything all the time. Um, yes, so here's a picture of our presenters. What I have for you this time is a video to introduce the presenters. Uh, actually, two videos, so I'm going to go do that, Dr. Nelly. Let me make sure I'm the only one on the media player here, because uh, I get really screwed up with the media players. This is a video. If you don't, uh, if you can't see it because you don't have the enough of a good of a connection, in a moment I'll put the link in the box. So I am currently trying to play it. If I don't succeed, I may ask. Oh, looks like it's coming. Can you just tell me if you can see this video? Is it here? Okay, good. It was here, yes. It's buffering on my end. I'm going to go get the link, and I'll put it in the chat box in case you are having, like me, trouble uh, watching it. Oh, buffering for everyone. Okay, well, we'll see. In the meantime, give me a moment, and I will go get the link. I have it here. Are we still buffering there? Oh, too bad. Okay, wow, Tom, that was quick. <laughs> I have it too, guys, I think. Is that the, oh, no, that's not the link. Tom, thank you very much for that. Man, you are fast on the draw. Yes, we can continue and let it come. Uh, what I'll do, actually, instead is I will pause that one. What I'd like to do is try... See if we can get the other one to play. Hmm. Here comes one of them. I'll tell you what I mean by one of them. You got it from the buffering video. Okay, good. I did not press it multiple times. <laughs> I clicked it once. Wow. Don't know what that's all about. I promise you I clicked it once. Hmm. I have the worst, yes, you try because I have the worst, worst luck with this media player. I don't know what it is. Nobody else seems to have the same sort of trouble that I do with the media player. So maybe what we can do is I will move on here. You had trouble as well. Yeah, some people some people seem to have trouble and others seem to it works it works fine for them. Um, let, let me continue, because we can come back to that. It's a video introducing the presenters. Everybody see uh, now the slide on the screen that says big festivals can be overwhelming. Can I just get a thumbs up or a check if you can see that? 
Okay, so we can move on because the videos are not, thank you so much, are not uh, necessary at any one point in this presentation. So let's just keep going. And Dr. Nelly, if you could uh, see if we can get that going, I can stop at any point and we can play the videos. Uh, wonderful thing about 2,857 people, right, is that there's all this opportunity to meet one another, especially all English language teachers in this case, um, and to form new relationships, um, professional friendships, and also uh, to, to collaborate in ways. Oh, here comes the video. Oh, it's disappearing. <laughs> it's coming. It's going. It's coming. It's going. All right, so maybe we should, yeah, we'll, we'll just keep going with, the, with this. Uh, as long as we can see it during, during the presentation. If not, you can check it out later. Um, so great, great, oh, here it comes again. Dr. Nelly's hard at work. Do we have it? get rid of it you know it's like wow it's so powerful yeah. you can't even get rid of it I can't. I can't get rid of it you know would you believe it it's just eh. all right i think it's gone hold your breath and see it's not it's not just me no it's not it you was, at all jace you're yeah, amazing <laughs> amazing amazing just go on let's not take little things you know like this right. come between us yeah let's not yeah uh, i think You'll, you'll dig the videos and we can put them in the in the courseware also. Um, so what, what we found about doing this MOOC, um, because this, you know, and, and Nellie's had similar experience in the, in, in the, uh, her, her MOOCs too, is there's really this, at, at once, this great opportunity to work with people that you would normally have the chance to work with. In many cases, teachers who work in isolation um, so much of the time or there are colleagues potentially they could work with but you're arbitrarily grouped there because of where you live you're limited by uh, where you where you uh, work and um obviously when you open open it up to up oh, here it comes i i did do that jace my hands <laughs> you know i did not do that i did not do that okay but it's if it's working that's fine it seems to be working but i did not do it so whoever did it, great. Brain. Let's promote and value all 
our contributions is Tony Gurr, momentum learning solutions, cutting edge ELT, we've surely got it, from simple English videos, it's Vicky Holland, relax and enjoy, and learning will occur, we've got Jennifer Lebedev of English with Jennifer, we'll help you break out of your usual routine, from Kahlo and Spark, it's Jason R. Levine, for effective techniques, we can develop the now, we've got Paul Maglione of English Attack, lifelong learning means learning stress you don't need to worry for real life english it's justin murray across the planet we're on a global trek from melting activities it's carissa peck as a group our momentum will intensify we've got chuck sandy of itdi all for one and one for all we excel from the 30 goals challenge shelly sanchez to rail with a network of teachers we have support every day from the u of d to rissa heck valet building up our skills for this we're all yearning it's andrew White. Jason West of English out there. ELTs worldwide, come on inside. Get on board this magnificent global ride. For each and every one of us, the skills we lack. This is the place to be to learn better practices, ideas to implement, materials to share, information to exchange, to build long range. ELT techniques, listening and pronunciation, the festival of VIA celebration. To whomever, probably someone, to whomever, probably someone in WizIQ uh, tech over there. Uh, staff over there in the support team. ELT is the place to be, right? With Dr. D, Nelly, and Fluent CMC, and Tom with a capital T. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Thank you so much. Glad you like it. And Nancy Z, and Fabiola C. It's catchy. I hope so. That, actually, I loaded two videos up there. There are two links. Uh, one of those links is, and let me actually, because um, I have it right here. Uh, one, one of those links is, you saw, that's the lip dub. I'm going to give you first the original. And does anybody know who made that video you just saw? The lip dub. That was... Do you, does anyone know Shelly Sanchez Terrell by any chance? But I'm gonna tell. You won't tell, but I'm going to tell. It's the one and only Shelly Sanchez Terrell. <laughs> this is the link. I'm just putting a few times in there. What she did was she took my video. I'm going to give you the link for that. Oh, that's what I just gave you. Yeah, the, the one I just gave you is the original video. The one you just saw. The one you just saw. I'm glad that's the one we saw. You can check out the original later. That's a lip dub. Have you ever heard of a lip dub? Right. What we did was everybody. Uh, right. What we did was everybody. Uh, the one you just this is the lip dub. The one you just saw. So that what we did was not everybody, but most of the uh, presenters did their lines right uh, over my rap. Little lip sync action. So you saw some people there. Maybe you know some of them. Uh, especially if you're in the English language teaching world. Uh, I have one more uh, link to give you, a very important one. This is Dr. Nelly's playlist of the recordings for the movie. So you, can, you can join us. Uh, I'll give you the link also at the end. But this is the link to Dr. Nelly's playlist on YouTube uh, for the different recordings that we did. So definitely want to check that out. So the video going, thanks to WizIQ support for doing that. Uh, as you can see, big festivals can be overwhelming. How can we get that connectivity to work um, without feeling like it's too much, right? Just like a festival, right? You can go and just feel so excited by all the energy and all the people, or you can go and feel like, oh, this is just too much. I can't, I can't do it. So uh, some of the factors we had to consider. Online learning is new to many of us English language teachers. Uh, participating in a MOOC is new to most of us. Um, participating in an ELT MOOC is new to all of us. Working together, being flexible, staying connected. Uh, Tom Hodgers, who's 
amazing facilitator. He's been helping Nelly with her moves. Now, uh, did so much for us in ELT techniques. Just said the Facebook groups were great. We had one for the uh, facilitators, which is really useful for us where we gathered. Um, and yeah, the next time, I think I think we want to probably do more with Facebook groups for the next one and or work with Club EFL and or do more in WizIQ as there's some changes coming on the platform that could make it uh, a, a much better place for social interaction, uh, even better than it is now. Lots of great stuff, by the way, happening in these MOOCs. Uh, just in the class feeds and the course feeds. So WizIQ has really been a great place for, for this move. <clears throat> Here are the basics of, of what we did. Um, and you can check out this PowerPoint afterwards if you like uh, to read this uh, more carefully. Again, I'm going to go quickly through it. Um, we are the first massive open online course for English language teaching professionals. We are four weeks long, and we're running it three times a year. Our first uh, MOOC was in last summer. The theme was uh, vocabulary, so techniques for teaching vocabulary. It's always techniques for teaching X in our field, English language teaching. Everyone who joins is already a teacher or in training to become a teacher. Or we'll take people who are seriously considering doing training as a teacher, but we are not, uh, we are not a certification course in you know, TEFL or TESOL so much as we are, well, we are not at all, but what we are are continuing professional development CPD for teachers, um, especially aiming at teachers who don't normally have the opportunity to avail themselves of this sort of professional development. Uh, so online learning and WizIQ makes that happen. It's free, open to all. Uh, the topic for our next ELT team MOOC ELTTTD MOOC. Uh, ELTT MOOC is speaking. The last one was listening pronunciation. We're going to do uh, one on writing uh, soon also. Virtual classes in WizIQ and collaborative work uh, off the platform and social engagement around content, as I said, in WizIQ and also elsewhere, like in Facebook. Um, ELTT is designed for anyone and everyone who's teaching English don't need special knowledge of technology. Uh, I created the MOOC with a lot of guidance from Dr. Nelly Deutsch, uh, Dr. Nelly and Sylvia both helping, uh, especially Sylvia uh, as far as contributing uh, content to the course and, and facilitating with the course. Not that Dr. Nelly doesn't want to, but because she's also so involved with so many other MOOCs. Um, the greatest thing, well, how do we say the greatest thing? One of the greatest things, I can say about this MOOC is all of the participation from facilitators. I'll talk more about that uh, in a moment. And the last thing, very important, on the next slide we'll, we'll get into it more, that we attended and will watch at least four classes and do the assignments to receive a certificate of completion. Whether you think the certificate is so necessary or not, for some it may be really important for their CV, for others this might be nice to have. But what it does is it does help, I think, motivate students to complete work. Uh, very important in online teaching and learning uh, because, because of the fact that it's not uh, a physical class. You could miss it. You could watch the recording. Uh, oh, I'll get to the assignment. Maybe I won't. Because it's free, that's part of it. Uh, because it's online, it, it is, I think, important. Many students uh, express this that uh, when they have a little more structure and are working towards the certificate, it really helps. The procedure is so simple. This is, this is one of the key things uh, we discovered for making this work. Um, Pre-class task uh, to get into the topic of the class that's coming. Uh, attend the class or watch the recording either way. Engage in discussion in WizIQ about the class and also off of WizIQ. And then a post-class task. So I'll explain more about what this means in a moment. Uh, what's really important, especially if you're not an English language teacher, uh, and, and so the, this, this particular topic for the MOOC is not up your alley, what's more important, I think, for everyone is just this idea of how um, such a large group could come together and work together and, and make it uh, a successful learning experience. And keeping it very simple is important. Being able to benefit from it, whether you can be there live or watch the recording later is very important. But we've learned some things. In the future, I think more pre-recorded video 
not just the classes. So kind of the flipped classroom for the online learning classroom. Uh, so to watch more content uh, during the week, that's one thing we'd like to do. One of the great benefits of working with lots of people with different talents uh, is, oh, Gordana's here and Susan's here. I'm just taking a quick look at the chat box. Sorry, I've been really not focusing on you guys in there, but I'm going to stop early this time to take questions and to uh, hear your comments. So we have, this is one of two great posters. I'll show you the next one um, that were created for, uh, by facilitators. This one's Leo JC from Brazil. He made this one. And we couldn't fit all the facilitators on here, so we have another poster. This one created by uh, Taiwanda Burson. I'm forgetting her last name. Oh, no. Um, but actually, where is her picture? She should be. Taiwanda should be. There she is. It's kind of hard to see. Taiwanda, she's at the top there. Um, and um, what happened to my pointer? Oh, it disappeared. Anyway, she's at the top. You can see her next to Dr. Nelly. So she made this poster. And you can take a look at the basin. Thank you very much. She's uh, from the U.S. but teaches in China. These are some quotes that Sylvia from Sylvia's uh, class. As global teachers around the world, we are knitting a new dream together. The beauty of our presenter facilitator global collaboration is the respect, synergy, and inspiration that is driving this bold initiative. One thing I must stress is that we have an entirely new slant. Our MOOC is for teachers by teachers, and we are open about experimenting. We are teachers trying to make sense of technology for teachers. That's one of the really cool uh, benefits of this MOOC. It's not about learning to use technology, but by participating, you are uh, learning to use uh, the most important types of technology, the internet, the basics, uh, you know, Google Docs, uh, participating in an online class, you know, some real basic stuff that's, you know, I, I have a feeling in the future, uh, some of the teachers in this cohort uh, will look back and say, that was where I, where I first did this, and I first did that, and, you know, I was nervous, I didn't know what I was doing, but, you know, uh, I got more comfortable with it, and I'm ready to, to take on the 21st century as a teacher. So that's really exciting, um, that that's been the experience of, of many teachers in ELT techniques. A few... Uh, a few... Uh, Screenshots, the inimitable Chuck Sandy, one of my mentor's favorite teachers and trainers. Uh, this is from his class. If you know Jack Askew, you know he's an amazing English teacher online. If you don't know who he is, uh, you will soon. He's going to be doing, yay, Jack. Jack's going to be... Um, we're going to be launching we because I'm helping him and several others. I'll tell you as we go along. Uh, Chuck may be doing something with this again. Uh, Jack is definitely doing something with this again. He's launching a paid course in his IQ very soon for English learners. We have Stephen Mayu of ESLHipHop.com. I had a great presentation uh, despite technical difficulties, which were largely my fault <laughs> that day. You can join, by the way. I'll give you the link at the end. and. Um, you can get all the uh, materials that are there if you like. Join anytime. Sean Bonville of Breaking News, Sean Bonville of Breaking News English uh, had a really cool presentation on, on using the news in class. Vicki Hollett, with, Vicky Hollett with whom I'm working very closely these days on many different things. Uh, she is also going to have a course in the near future in WizIQ, almost definitely. I shouldn't say she is going to, but we're getting close. <laughs> Jennifer Lebedev. Jennifer Lebedev. Does anyone know English with Jennifer or Jennifer ESL by any chance? She's rather well known. She's rather well known. <laughs> Jennifer, as they say on the street, crushed it. Jennifer was is one of these people that, you know, of course her videos are well known. She's a great teacher. She's a great writer of materials. Wasn't sure how she'd do with the group. If I had to choose one person of everyone that just did the best all-around presentation, it was her. And I'm so excited to tell you she is very, very interested in running a course in WizIQ in the future. So I'm also 
Uh, again, I'm not saying she's going to, but um, I have a strong feeling we're going to be able to work something out with her. And these are paid courses I'm talking about. I'm going to get to how important that is at the end. MOOCs free, uh, but for these courses, paid courses. With IQ staff, the marketing uh, department, and did some really, really great stuff for us. If you're thinking about doing a paid course or, uh, on WizIQ, or you're interested in doing uh, a MOOC with us in the future, there's really cool stuff happening with promotion. Uh, and here they did a really great job making things like this, and this, and this. And these, <laughs> some not everyone got one of these. Um, Dr. Nelly didn't get one. I didn't get one at first. I got one at the end. Uh, good idea, Dr. Nelly. I got one at the end, uh, but I didn't put mine in here because I look a little ridiculous. The the ridiculousness of these is funny, but mine just looks kind of well. Maybe it's just because it's me. I don't like it. But uh, really ingenious on this page. I have another page coming. So we've got uh, Mal Buchler of tripping, Carissa Peck of melting uh, activities, uh, Chuck Sandy of ITDI. You like Vicky's, Amina? <laughs> Third on the right, is that on the top or the bottom, Amina? Drew's is the best. Yeah, I like Drew's is great. That's Drew Badger in the middle at the bottom uh, of English. Anyone? And here's another page. Here's another page. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Nelly, I was reading your mind, or you were reading my mind, or something. They need a rest. Actually, I, I think the truth is the artist who did this is no longer with the company. Uh, so we need to get someone back there uh, who is as good as this person. But yeah, for a little while, uh, we got some great stuff here. Which one do you like here? Any favorites? Any favorites? You gotta love Stevens, yeah. You gotta love Stevens, yeah. <laughs> and Shelley's. Cool. Yeah, so this was just promotional art that we did. Susan, you can do it, tell me how. Susan, you can do it, tell me how. Susan, we may need to talk. Really? Really? Um, this is one of, I have a lot of different sort of catchphrases I have. One of them is, online learning is no fluke. Tear the doors off the classrooms. Make way for the MOOC. And I have this out to MOOC sign. That's sort of my uh, picture I put up to tell uh, people in social media that I'm not going to be around. It's not really true. I, didn't, I sort of did that as a joke. But yeah, not out to lunch, out to MOOC. Um, it takes up a lot of time, but it is really worth it. Uh, can't, I can't decide, like, you know, and I think participants have this similar feeling what the best part of it is. Is it the professional development? Is it the friendships? Is it the learning about online teaching? Is it the things we learn about culture? Uh, in the end, you know, it's, it's the integration of all those things, I think, which is just so fantastic. Join us anytime. That's the link to the MOOC. Sorry, it's sort of a long one. Um, it's open all the time, so you can watch the recordings. Everything's there. It's about how far you reach when you teach. This might be my, one of my favorite uh, catchphrases that I created. Um, you know, how many people are you reaching when you teach? How many people are reaching you when you're learning? Um, I think I'm very, very sure that in the future, um, the, we will look. People will look back and think, "God, isn't that strange? Learning from one person in a physical room, like, wow, that is weird." You know, the same way, I think we think about. Uh, I'll put it in the chat box. Uh, the same way we think about. Can I put it in the chat box? Oh no, I can't. Somebody else could. Tom is the master here. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't have it right, right here, but I know Tom's going to get. It. I'm too serious. What do you mean? I'm not. You just you just want me to I I need to be like the rapping monkey boy like the the the, the organ grinder monkey I, I'm I'm being too cerebral you want me to be funny <laughs> but you love it all okay you want me to smile okay 
Is that better? Um, no, no. Uh, I'm leaving time, as you see. You see the 18 minutes coming up. I usually, uh, this is the end. I usually go way till, uh, too, much, too close to the end. Thank you, Susan. Um, and uh, yeah, so I actually have only one, one more slide here. This is what I want to talk about. Now, any questions you guys have about the MOOCs, but I want to talk about the future a little bit. Okay, smile, smile, smile. Free versus paid online learning. Synchronous versus asynchronous, which I want to uh, differentiate or distinguish from live versus pre-recorded. Synchronous versus asynchronous. Right now, if you're here with us, you're watching, you're, you're attending a live online class. It's synchronous. If you uh, watch the recording later, right, you're not participating, um, but you are, you may participate in a discussion about it uh, with people later, but you're watching the class recording that's asynchronous. And then there's live versus pre recorded. So whether you're here live now or you're watching asynchronously, you're watching the live class, pre recorded would be, and some MOOCs are, are based just on pre-recorded videos that are created. Is that, what just happened here? Did someone just put me uh, front and center? Where's my chat box? All right. Thank you so much. Um, this, <laughs> this, is, this is great. Thank you, Dr. Nelly. Um, so for the, uh, yeah, I mean, wow, I feel like I'm on TV now. Check me out. Check me out. Um, what I'd like to talk about is uh, these, these ideas uh, for the future because I'll just quickly tell you what I, not what I think as much as uh, why I want to talk about these. MOOCs are going to continue, right? free classes, these huge classes, but I think um, a great, great thing is when a MOOC, and we really are doing this uh, with ELT techniques, when a MOOC can also serve as a way to showcase online teachers' talents, people that uh, are, you know, gifted at and uh, online teaching and learning. I think we have some of them with us in ELT techniques. Teachers that, you know, if you pay $5, $10, $20 for a course of theirs, you would get a lot out of it. And so that's that's what we're doing is doing these MOOCs and then um, figuring out courses to launch uh, students around the world, whether they're students learning English or teachers teaching English, uh, would get a lot out of by, by paying for them. Scalable classes that wouldn't be that expensive, but you'd be able to get the kind of attention, the kind of materials uh, that you wouldn't get in the MOOC and in many cases you wouldn't get in a physical class. Uh, what does MOOC stand for? Oh my goodness, I feel terrible that we didn't talk about that. What does MOOC stand for? Can someone tell me? Tell us? What does MOOC stand for? Massive Open Online Course, yes. So the, the idea with a massive open online course, at least you know, the tradition of them is, and I like this, is the idea of uh, it being uh, a free course, you know, open. Uh, but I see it as also, like I'm saying, a vehicle for teachers to learn how to do online courses and then offer much, much more in a paid course. So that's one thing. The other thing is uh, about pre-recorded video versus recorded and, Attending live or not attending live. What are your thoughts on this? We have about 15 minutes. Let me just see if anyone has any questions or comments. You're here live in the class. Do you like to be here live? Would watching the recording be better? It's not really a class, right? I'm just presenting some stuff. What do you think about online learning? What do you What do you think about online learning? Live is better. Why is that, Nabila? Because you can chat like you just did just now, and I can respond to you. I could turn on your microphone, your camera, which I'm not doing today, but you'd like it live. <laughs> well, you're all here, so you like it live. You wouldn't be here if you didn't like it live. More feedback? What do you mean by that, Amina? Like teachers like me who are late in sending their feedback <laughs> for, for assignments because I keep teaching and teaching and never have time? By the way, anybody out there who's waiting for me to send them feedback for any assignment, 
needs to, I'm sorry you have to do this, email me and say, hey, where is my feedback? Yeah, I think, I think the live class is great. Yeah, I think, I think the live class is great. You can't ask your questions the same way, absolutely. Live with instant feedback. Some of this is, is technology is going to really change in the future where it's going, you're going to have uh, the ability to turn mics on and off, videos on and off, have multiple screens up at once, people talking. It's going to be amazing. Um, but right now, it's, we're still limited, but, you know, we're, we're figuring it out and we'll all be, you know, the, at the front lines uh, when it gets easier with technology. Ah, uh, if you don't have the time, right, you're glad you can watch the recording. How about, how about pre-recorded stuff? Because, you know, the flipped classroom, have you guys heard of the flip classroom? The connection is the problem. Does anybody know about flipped classrooms? Could someone tell us what is a flipped classroom? Ah, and blended learning, how does that relate? Well, blended learning, so we can get right to flipped classrooms, is the idea of using online teaching and physical classroom teaching, a mixture, right. Flip classroom is also a mixture. So flip classroom concept is a type of blended learning. Nancy says the lectures are pre-recorded online. The face-to-face -face meetings are for discussion activities. Yeah. So what you do in a flip classroom is to try to take advantage of face-to-face -face time not being where you're delivering the content, but using that those opportunities for discussion activities, the content can be consumed right, outside of class and online, whether it's reading or video. Susan's saying in the classroom we can do more with projects. Flipped online class FOC. Yeah, it's really important, I think, um, in the future we're going to do more with this. Uh, where the live class is more interactive and not just listening to me <laughs> uh, talking. And I think that's going to become much more um, common when the technology is better for everyone. Uh, I mean, that's going to happen. I think one of the big reasons it's not happening yet is when we try to do that kind of stuff in an online class because of connection issues and, and other issues, it doesn't work quite as well. Um, but yeah, watch, watching pre-record doesn't have to just be, uh, I think also teachers are going to be uh, making more, it's going to be easier to make more video pre-record stuff. Uh, so a lot of these courses that are going up, um, yeah, Nelly does great stuff with flipping, uh, making video. Uh, courses like um, Jack's, uh, Jack Askew from Teaching ESL Online, Mal Buchler from Tripping, um, and uh, especially Rachel, Rachel's English who's coming on, is going to use a lot of recorded video because they're all video makers. And that's great because you can get exclusive stuff that's not on YouTube that is just for your course. Uh, I think that's, that's an exciting thing. Questions or comments about either the current state of online teaching learning MOOCs? Um, we have 10 minutes left. Yeah, I do too, Nancy. Vicky, Vicky Hollett is just so cool. She has a new video, by the way. Check out Simple English Videos. Simple English Videos. Uh, that's a good point, Susan. Live classes are about the connection. Yeah, just chatting, talking, who's there. To really learn, you have to go back to the recording. It's easy with presentation like this because it's not, you know, it's not really... Um, you know, there's really nothing to go back and learn so much from something like this. But yeah, if there's a, and this is again why maybe flipping it could be better, right? Where you know you can always watch the, the, the video beforehand that's focusing on the content, and then there is always learning, the different types, right? And then the social and connected learning um, you can focus on and not worry so much about the content. That's true for also for us, uh, anyone who's teaching the class. Do I focus on what I, I came here to deliver, or do I focus on what you guys are, are talking about and what we're doing? So it's it's good to do a combination, and people like Nelly are very good at that combination, and you get better and better at it. But um, knowledge is power. Yeah, I don't know how much you've learned because that's that's right. This is not really a class to learn from today, so I apologize. It's more presenting uh, what we did with this.
massive open course, the uh, ELT techniques, and the whole experience of, of teaching and learning online. Shira said live classrooms need a lot of attention expertise to attend the class. Hmm. It's funny, you know, what I found is that live classes and online classes are so similar in the basic, when you boil them down to the basics, they've got to be engaging, right? So if, you're, if the teacher's boring, if the material's boring, uh, if your classmates are uninspired, uh, you know, that can happen on the ground or in the cloud, right? That can be a physical class issue or an online learning issue. Um, and I think that, uh, well, in the future, if, if once technology gets better, it's going to be a lot easier to see which teachers and which courses shine over others. Uh, right now, unfortunately, there are teachers who, who shine in the physical classroom and still are not as comfortable with the technology uh, or uh, the whole idea of being online. And then there are just you know, the issues of people not being able to connect and, and participate. Uh, but we are, this is evolved. I mean, it's, it's, we are just at the beginning of this. It's crazy. And people who've been in this a long time, uh, that's not me, uh, but someone like Dr. Nellie Deutsch can tell you how far it's come. And it's not the beginning uh, for people like her, uh, but, you know, it is the beginning as far as, you know, I think when you look long term at how much learning is going to be done uh, collaboratively, connecting with many teachers and learners online. I mean, just imagine, can't you just imagine, I know I say this all the time, but can't you just imagine that it would be strange for people in the future to think about shutting a door to a classroom, uh, sitting at a desk in one place at one certain time to, to learn something from you know, one, one teacher and one small group of people? Uh, you know, and, and, and if that's what you're used to, now remember, if you're used to this, then the, all the comforts of the familiarity uh, of, of that. So, you know, uh, I, I love paper books. I'm not a big fan of digital books. But what about my grandkids who, who will never look at phys physical books except, in a, in a, you know, they'll look at grandpa's physical books. It's really about what, what you are used to and you know, what you know what you're used to. Any questions and comments? Because here I go blabbing again. Questions and comments? Yes, join us in March. We're coming back. Don't have the official official dates yet. We're going to be doing a lot of different things in March, so uh, we're we're waiting for the official official dates. Oh, thanks, Dr. Nelly. Any other any questions or comments? Any other any questions or comments? Thank you, Tom. Tom uh, is just a wizard facilitator. In all, and almost seems like almost anything going on now is like you. Just, just to the comments about it's not a really a class. Yeah, it's not. It's not a class. Yes, this is an intro. Thank you. Yes, you're you're being very kind. Knowledge is power. You must be very confused. But this is, you know, the 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 CO14 is really a conference where we're just discussing things. But yeah, uh, please please check us out if you're interested. Or if you're an English teacher, that is, um, if you're an English learner and you're looking for a class, I've got some great great stuff coming uh, very soon. Um, a fiesta festival. <laughs> uh, so knowledge is power. If you are a uh, teacher of English, join us for ELT techniques, professional development course. If you are a learner of English, uh, we have three great teachers coming. Rachel of Rachel's English starting a course in March. Mal Buchler of Tripping starting a course in March. All of these on Wiz IQ, of course, and Jack Askew uh, also starting a course. And we have others who will follow. You'll have a lot of different choices uh, as far as the focus of these courses. Um, courses that are going to be ten dollars for a month. Uh, courses that are going to be a hundred dollars for a month, depending on the approach, the materials, the number of hours, uh, things like that. Another class starts in two minutes. Yes. I've got to go too. Who gave me thirty-three minutes? But I'm leaving. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, um, we're gonna. Tom is really kicking great. you Thank out. Thank you so much, everybody. Tom, Thank you are you amazing. Coming. Tom is just my guardian angel. Okay. I mean, what I would I do without Tom? Tom okay, is... Tom, our captain. Thank you.
Thank you. Sure, the bell. Jace, thank you. Love you. So Love thanks. you. They are thanks a, so much. I, I learned how to write in my hand today. So thank you. That was from Jennifer. Okay. You're, you're welcome. Jennifer I, I didn't, I didn't, Klein. She was, um, you didn't prepare didn't it. Why don't you I start didn't. preparing your hands because my hand is just too small. It's too small. All right. Love you. Love you, everyone. Next time, maybe I'll, 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 pull, I'll, pull, up, I'll pull up my shirt or something. Like, okay. you know, yeah, like yeah, up. right. Do it. Do I'll, it. I'll have something Just do it. <laughs> right. Where's our wrap? That's my chest. Jace, you have Thanks, to wrap everybody. at least for a second or two. I'll rock for a second. You know what? I reckon I can do the chat box. Give me something Marcia, and I'll rock. Marcia or is it Marika says, thanks, Jace. There's hyper from Tunisia. I'm going to be there soon in your place, your country in April. That's my hope. We're trying to arrange it now. Oh, my goodness. Nabila says, oh, yeah. Am I welcome there? I'm going soon. I hope knowledge is power is in the room wondering what's going on. Is it a class or a conference? What are we doing? It doesn't make sense. But now I hope a little bit more. Who's got something else to give me something in store for my rap from the chat box. I put it in. This is the power of hip hop. The knowledge I see still is here. Everybody check this out. I'll drink a bottle of beer because it's Friday night time to get loose <laughs> I'm the steam engine in the back Nelly's the caboose but usually she takes the lead that's not the truth I mean she's shaking her caboose and that's how we get down we got to make one time stop the run amazing Haifa you're too generous Nelly broke her glasses my gosh what is this she should wear the contact lenses Everybody, thank you for your your happies, your claps, and your applauses. I don't know what to say now. I'm lost. We gotta yeah, go. Pause. We got a minute. Thank, thank you. Thank you, so thank you everyone. I'm closing class. Every, the guy extended it. I told them, do not extend. Do not extend. Do not extend. And he extended. Please do not extend.